The all-new Nissan Patrol has been revealed, sending the strongest signal yet that the brand is moving toward a much more premium approach in terms of design and features. We already knew the V8 was dead, but we can now confirm the Patrol will be powered by a pair of V6 engines, a naturally aspirated 3.8-liter and a twin-turbocharged 3.5-liter. There's also a host of new technologies beneath the skin to get buyers excited. This is all hot off the press while we cover the reveal in Abu Dhabi, so we'll update this story as more information comes to hand. The naturally aspirated 3.8-liter V6 produces 236 kilowatt of power and 386 nemas of torque. This engine is unlikely to come to Australia. Australia will instead get a 3.5-liter twin-turbocharged petrol V6 that replaces the outgoing V8. It produces 37 kilowatts of power and 700 nanometers of torque. It's mated to a Jacko 9-speed automatic transmission and a full-time four-wheel drive system. Nissan didn't have a mass figure on hand, but it confirmed that the GVM would remain at 3,500 kg. Nissan did confirm that it's now heavier, which means payload will be lower. Towing capacity also hasn't been confirmed for Australia. It's confirmed at 2,000 kilograms with a brake trailer for the Middle East market. It's like to retain the 3,500 kilograms braked towing capacity for the Australian market. Given the US version of this vehicle, the Armada will get at least 3,500 kilograms of brake towing capacity. Cooling has taken a big bump with the removal of belt-driven cooling fans, and instead the Patrol now uses a pair of electric fans and the largest cooling system on any Nissan product to date. Luxury features like pneumatic massage seats elevate the Patrol's cabin, pushing it further towards premium SUVs like the Range Rover. The cabin also features dual 14. The cabin also features dual 14.3-inch displays. One is a digital instrument cluster, the other an infotainment touchscreen. There's also a head-up display. The new infotainment system features a suite of Google features, including Google Maps, which can be displayed ahead of the driver, and Google Assistant with cloud-based voice recognition for speech interpretation. A segment-first climate control feature uses infrared biometrics to measure skin temperatures of occupants in all three seating rows. To vary the intensity of air conditioning that hits the skin, a handy feature in climates like the Middle East and Australia. Paddle shifters have been added, as have a host of new cameras to improve visibility. Front and rear cross-traffic alert pairs with a front-mounted camera capable of seeing 170 degrees to the front of the vehicle to peer around intersections. The Patrol retains a hydraulically-assisted steering system but adds a semi-autonomous lane centering function, similar to what is found on the 300 series Land Cruiser. While off-road specs are still to be confirmed, Nissan says there are improvements to approach and departure angles, along with the ability for the air suspension to increase ride height by 70 millimeters to cater for off-road driving. There's a rear differential lock, a full-time four-wheel drive system, and the ability to switch to 4H and 4L. There's a choice of rock, sand, mud, standard, eco, and sport drive modes. In terms of colors, there will be seven to pick from, including forest green, a new hero color, as well as pearl white, mineral black, gray, grand blue, and silver metallic finishes. Australians will be able to continue buying the Y62 Patrol in Australia until the order books open for the Y63 in late 2026, so the current model still has a while to go yet before it's phased out.